Hello everybody and welcome back to Analog Vernacular. Today we're going to be playing some more Triangle Strategy. Um, we're playing the first three chapters of the demo before the game actually comes out on March 4th. So um, we're going to get, you know, as far as we can and then we might have to wait to uh, go into chapter 4 and 5 and whatnot. But um, let's go ahead and um, take a quick look at our two new characters. So um, they came to us at level 2 as well. So everybody on the team is at level 2. Um, we've got Anna here. Uh, who is a spy, and we've got Eridor, who is a shield bearer. So let's just take a quick look at this. There we go. So act twice, grants two actions during a single turn, and can only move once. Okay, so basically that's just telling you, you don't get to move twice. Um, you just get your same movement, but you can act twice. Gotcha throw poison and take cover and surmount so we'll only get access in the demo to throw poison now with you looks like we have provoke chance to infuriate all enemies within range for two turns um, and I'm guessing that means that they target him raise your movement by one for three turns cool I like that and steal back, which is probably some kind of defense boost. Okay. His defense is eight, so he does have one more defense than Benedict does. Very cool. You've got really high evasion and speed. I'm guessing your jump is probably the best as well. Yeah, jump four. Movement five, which is the same as Benedict and Saranoa. All right, cool. Now with her, one of her big combos that I used a lot during the demo, the first demo that we got, was with Act Twice. Um, she also had an ability to disappear, which isn't showing in the list right now. So maybe we don't get it until later, or maybe it's just not in the ability list. Um, but um, she was able to, like, go behind somebody, attack, and then disappear. Which was pretty damn useful to, you know, kind of control who, who was being targeted and stuff. Okay, let's do a quick save. And let's get into some of the story. So, first off, we're gonna get this uh, side story. The children of the crown speak to their father, King Regna. spoke not a single word to me today. Before long, I fear I might forget the sound of his voice. Please, sister, you weep and wail like a common girl. Show some composure. God, he sucks. Father has a kingdom to rule, a kingdom engaged in a historic endeavor. He has more important duties than to pamper a spoiled child. I... Yes, of course, brother. Franny's the worst. Speak as if father's duties include anything more than licking the boots of these dignitaries. <laughs> it is inconceivable he cannot spare the time to break bread with his daughter. You speak out of insolence and ignorance, Roland. I speak only the truth. Damn right. He leaves all the cumbersome tasks to the Wolforts and Minister Patriot. A king's word is to be obeyed. And what of his subjects? Do they exist simply to bring him glory? To take the blame for his failures? They are to serve as he sees fit. AKA yes. The hell they are. Believe as you wish. Speaking of his subjects, it appears lordship of House Wolfort will be passed down to young Saranoa. Man, word travels fast. What? How fortunate for you to have a friend in the new lord. Best not take loyalty for granted, however. House Wolfort is obedient enough for now, but that can change as quickly as the wind. Really, Franny? Use them well when you can, but be ready to bring down your fist if they dare to rise above their station. Don't speak of them like lapdogs. They're not servants. They're my friends. Do you really think to lead with such a soft heart? You are not fit to wear the royal signet. Oh, stop this fighting at once. 
you frighten me? Enough of this. Where are you going, brother? To train with Sir Maxwell. I would clear my head. There is a tourney on the morrow, after all. Brother! Yet Franny sucks. I yield. Your spear wavers, my prince. Something weighs on your mind. You've always been able to see through me. It's no great feat. Your heart lies ever on your sleeve. Do I hear disapproval in your voice? Not exactly, my prince. It can be a weakness, yes, but it can also be your strength. After all, sometimes a direct strike is most effective at piercing a formidable defense. I will take those words to heart, Sir Maxwell. Thank you for today. The pleasure was mine. I expect a good fight from you tomorrow. In the final match, no doubt. I take the field with House Wolfort. Together, I have no doubt we can emerge triumphant. Ah, that would explain your improvement. Young Sarah Noah is a worthy training partner. Even so, I have no doubt you've held your own against him. Tomorrow you shall show the realm what I already know. That you are a warrior worthy of your family's legacy. Sir Maxwell, I... Sometimes I wish I wasn't a prince. Sometimes I wish I'd been born your son instead. Surely you jest, Your Highness. Your father is a great king, and an even greater man. It is an honor to serve him as I do. I get the feeling that Sir Maxwell here is either going to be a late-game party member, or he's going to die heroically. Apologies. I forget myself. I must have taken quite a blow. Anyhow... I suppose I should rest till the morrow. Be well, Sir Maxwell. It cannot be easy being the youngest prince. To have others expect nothing from you, yet still shake their heads in disapproval. But you can rise above this, my prince. Seize your chance and lay everyone's doubts to rest once and for all. Yeah, he's the good one of the two brothers. That's for sure. Okay, so we're back to main story at Castle Volfort. The banquet ends without incident and everyone breathes a sigh of relief. Nobody died. Dragan, however, has something on his mind. Let's just double check, make sure there's nothing else on the map. Now that's what I call a feast. You've landed quite the catch, Frederica. He is a good man. I can see it in his eyes. Okay, he's drunk. He's gonna let something slip you that he's not supposed kind, to. Lord Dragan. And humble as well. Are you impressed as I, Frederica? I can tell that your heart is pure and gentle, my lord. Lady Frederica. Forgive me if I caused offense. I thought only to return your sincerity and kind. No apologies are needed. I am happy to meet your approval. I... Thank you, my lord. <laughs> Words come so easily to the both of you. A, a perfect match. Forgive my curiosity. What sort of life did Lady Frederica lead in Esfrost? Um, she's standing right there. Ask her. Her life? <laughs> Truth be told, my dear, 
Serenoa, not a pleasant one. Those of Rosellen blood are looked down upon in Esfrost, <laughs> even if they are the daughter of the Archduke's concubine. Gustadolf's fucking right there, guys. are the worst of the lot. They have not a shred of human compassion between them. Wow, he's they really speaking the truth, They bully huh? the girl endlessly, regardless of time or place. Is this... True? Of course it is. I know Frederica's suffering all too well. My own father lived ever in the shadow of his elder brother, the former Archduke. Our house, too, is met with sneers by those who consider themselves our betters. But no more! I shall show all those simpering fops that it is not birth that makes greatness, but deeds. What are you gonna do, Dragon? And so I did my due research at the Archives, that my grand invention shall blast our way forward! <laughs> oh, cause he's the guy who discovered dynamite. Oh no. Dragan, please. I believe you've had enough to drink. Yeah, he is letting some shit slip. <laughs> you can hardly blame He's me for availing plots. myself of Glenbrook's finest libations. Brought by traders from the realm over. Each cask more exotic than the last. <laughs> Why, do not partake would be an affront to our newfound allies. Just make sure your head is clear for tomorrow. Or have you forgotten you're meant to be representing your nation? Mm, oh, yes, a, a ceremony to usher in a new age of harmony and prosperity. I am too young to have known the war, so I... I see our three nations joining hands more as a matter of expedience. But what of you, my kin to be? How do you see our grand cooperative venture? This is the realest answer. It is impossible to understand each nation's motivations. I can't say whether this bodes well. It is impossible to understand each nation's motivations. I can't say whether this bodes well. Interesting. You are the first I've spoken to to express such skepticism, and yet, <laughs> you may see more clearly than most. Yeah, how involved in whatever plot's like going not, on is this guy? It is a baseless worry. <laughs> No, it not. is a lord's place to worry. We may at last share a common goal, but our motivations differ. The future is murky, no matter how brightly some may try to paint it. My new cousin has the intuition of a leader, I see. Or perhaps you're simply a worrywart. <laughs> In any event, it is always good to have another perspective on matters. Let me tell you what I believe. I believe we're on the cusp of a great achievement! As always, it is the young who must bear the burden of building the future. Old shoulders are frail, old minds stubborn. Whatever lies in our future, those who make it will mark their names in history. And mine, mine will be written large for all to see! And I would write yours next to it, my dear cousin. Pray, come visit me at the mines once operations are underway, and I, I shall... Trigan, are you quite all right? Worry not, Frederica. I'm just a bit tipsy.
Perhaps I should just like. <laughs> Dragan, you're a mess. <laughs> to his credit, he seems to not be as cruel to Frederica as what appears to be a pretty cruel set of Esfrosty customs, you know? It would seem Lord Dragan has turned in for the night. Quite the passionate fellow, isn't he? He's never been one to hide his ambition, ever since we were little. Neither does he hide his disapproval of my brother and Trueborn siblings. Feelings which you share? I grant it would be satisfying to see the sneers of those who look down on me wiped from their faces. I think we can arrange that. But I also agree with Lord Simon that we must set our gazes to the future. Though I know not yet how I might best serve in this new age, I would do what I can. We are of the same mind in that regard, my lady. Let us ease the weight of each other's burdens. Please, call me Frederica. We are to be husband and wife after all. Of course, my... <laughs> Frederica. Pray, call me Sarah Noah as well. Uh, we should carry your cousin to his chambers. Will you help me, Frederica? Certainly, Sarah Noah. Let us take care not to wake him, lest he resume his prattle. What's this about? Benedict. Hmm. I thought I might find you here. Who'd you lose, friend? Who'd you lose? My lord. Did you tell her? That Sarah Noah would soon be taking over as lord of our house. Forgive me, my lord. I did not think to. Save your apologies, Benedict. Doubtless she was overjoyed to hear it from you. Destra always did trust you above all her advisors. Okay, so it's his his wife and Sarano's mother, most likely. But clearly, Benedict cared for her quite a bit as well, it seems. As do I. For 30 years, you have served my house better than I ever could have asked for. You honor me, my lord. My lord? <laughs> I suspect this will be the last night I will hear those... My lord, I will call for a healer at once. Uh, do not bother, Benedict. It will avail me not. You know as well as I how my heart now fails me. My lord. And so I entrust Sarah Noah to you. For our house. Pray heed this old man's final order. Certainly. I will live to serve your son until I breathe my last. Did you hear that, Destra? Our boy is in good hands. My old dear friend, long have we stood together. I will not let you down, my lord. Simone gathers the members of House Volfort to announce his abdication. My beloved son, Sarah Noah will oversee the matters of our house from this day forward. I expect you to serve him as dutifully as you served me. Of course, Lord Simon. I, my lord, our undying loyalty to House Wolfert. 
My son, listen well. The Lord's judgment shapes the fates of his kin and subjects alike. Responsibility for their well-being now falls on your shoulders. You must lead them well. Yes, Father. I shall keep those words close to my heart. To that end, I require wise counsel. Together, you possess a wealth of experience. As Lord of House Wolfort, it is my duty to consider the best course from every perspective afforded me. I shirk not from this responsibility. At the same time, I would be a fool to not seek guidance from those more traveled than I. For my house and my people, I trust I can rely on you. Well spoken, my son. I dare say you are more than ready to receive this. The Scales of Conviction, a holy relic said to be blessed by the deities of old. It was gifted to our family by the King of Glenbrook. From this day on, I entrust it to you. However, it is of little use without these. Coins, seven of them. Tokens of conviction, we call them. Give one each to only your most trusted retainers and allies. They will guide you when the path is darkest. Their words will illuminate the pitfalls ahead. Heed well the advice of your friends and subjects and choose your steps carefully. Such has been the way of our house, and such you must see it always shall be. I will, Father. I shall treasure these gifts and make wise use of them in times of need. Very good. Now do your duty, my son. We await your orders, my lord. We depart for the capital at once. May this ceremony be but the first of many joyous occasions ahead of us. Okay. We're now the Lord of Whiteholm. And so the stewardship of House Wolfort passes from father to son. Lord Simone Wolfort, beloved throughout Glenbrook, entrusts the future to young Serenoa. With the ceremony to mark the beginning of the joint mining venture and a tourney on the horizon, the Wolfort set forth to the Crown City. With no heroic deeds yet to his name, the new Lord Wolfort sets his eyes on the proving grounds, eager to show his worthiness. Oh yeah, let's go. So, the first demo that we got started on chapter six and went into chapter seven. So that'll give you an idea of kind of like where we are so in Lord relation Simon to that. Lord will step down. I suppose the time comes for us all to pass on the torch eventually. What wisdom has your father bestowed upon you? Hmm. He has told me what it means to be lord of a house. Very good. Sarah Noah of House Wolfort, the crown of Glenbrook now looks to you for loyal service and brotherhood. Yes, your majesty. I shall not disappoint. He seems like a nice enough guy. How did his uh, oldest son become such a prick? Uh -oh. I dare you to say that again, Thalys. What? Must you make me repeat myself? I am the Prime Minister of Esfrost. I and I alone am fit to represent our nation. Go push your papers in the shadows like the minor lordling's son you are. Ooh. You would say me? You, who would be nothing if not for your high birth. Your ineptitude is mocked by noble and commoner alike. <laughs> Dragan, you forget yourself. Shit. You both forget yourselves. 
Frederica? If you must braid each other, then do so back home. Your bickering will bring shame upon our nation. <laughs> Such strong words, sister. Okay, Erica and Thalys. Do you Thalys. think you're above us now that you're being wed to Mighty House Woolfort? Please, Erica. My apologies, but the ceremony will begin soon. I ask the delegates of each nation to make their preparations. So, with Dragan, it's like, the enemy of my enemy is my friend? Is it possible that Dragan won't end up being an enemy down the line? I feel like his convictions are a little bit strong. And he's a little bit too hateful almost, but I don't know, maybe. Like I said, enemy of my enemy is my friend. He may be the lesser of two evils. And you must be Sarah Noah Wolford. Well, I suppose we should bother the happy couple no longer. Well done, Frederica. I see you've inherited your mother's wiles. Oh, what a bastard. She always did have a way with men. Too bad you also inherited her hair. That sickly pink makes me want to rest. Oh, they suck. Ugh. Pray forgive my cousins, Lord Serenoa. And forgive me if I was out of line. Those two. They were... Phallus and Erika Esfrost, full brother and sister to Archduke Gustadolf, and my half-siblings. I see. Well, I hope that we can all come together for the sake of our grand endeavor. Okay, so the Archduke is your brother, your half-brother. Okay, for some reason I was still thinking that it was your, your dad. Gotcha. Okay. Archduke is your half-brother. Smithy is now available at the encampment. Well, okay, let's check it out. We don't have much money, I don't think, but... We'll check it out nonetheless. As blacksmith, I have the, priv I have the privilege of looking after everyone's weapons. It's my honor to forge and repair whatever Volfort's warriors require. Any blades that need tempering or bows that need priming, you need only say the word. Okay. At the smithy, you can upgrade your weapons and unlock weapon abilities. Both of these services require materials and coin. Each weapon has three ranks. Increasing a weapon's rank unlocks more powerful abilities for that weapon. You can acquire weapon abilities within the same rank in any order. But the later a skill is learned, the more materials it will require. The later just meaning ones further down the chain? Just, or like further into the game. Okay. Uh, base weapon abilities. If a weapon ability is connected to another with an arrow icon, then they may be acquired in the order the arrow indicates. Okay. I think this will make more sense when I'm actually doing it in the menu. And exclusive weapon abilities. Weapon abilities contained within a box marked with OR cannot be active at the same time. However, once you have acquired either one, both become available and you may switch between them at no cost. Okay. So, either or, gotcha. Use required materials and upgrade. So in order to get to weapon rank two, we need one silver and a thousand money. We'll just call it gold. I don't know what they call the money in this game. Two out of two iron and 500, and this will give us weapon damage up. Max HP. Interesting. Okay, so this is our weapon stuff. Now, what are the abilities? Physical defense, magic defense, luck up. Okay, those are all question marks, so we can't really see what they are. Are these icons abilities? Those might be abilities. 
Ooh, look at the weapon there. It's a blue sword. Azure crystal. Azure crystal. Words are hard. Weapon potency. Deal greater damage. Okay, so we'll only be able to get one of these. Without more iron. Passive skill increases fire damage dealt with clear weather. Oh, interesting. So weather's going to have a... I do remember that weather had, had an effect on some things. Like we could use um, electric spells um, when it was raining and they were more potent. So that one's a passive. Okay. My forge is always here if you need it. Interesting, and I wonder if we change classes if, it, if that's how we change our weapons. Now we can also buy materials here, um, but it's not really worth it right now because, well, we don't have any money. And um, even if we did have some money, we'd probably spend all our money buying items and not be able to actually do the upgrade afterwards, so. We'll just wait on that. So this one has a magnifying glass. What does that mean? Guess we're gonna find out. Let's do a save. Main story, the festivities begin under the vigilant eyes of each nation's dignitaries. Maybe it means there will be an explore session? The White Home Castle Gardens. My honored guests, I am pleased to announce that operations at the Grand Norzellian Mines have commenced in earnest. The Earth has yielded treasures more magnificent than even we had anticipated. May the mines endure for many years as a symbol of prosperity for all of our nations. Well said. With Hyzant's salt and capital, Esfrost's ingenuity, and Glenbrook's raw materials and manpower, our realm's future is bright indeed. It is a partnership built on three pillars, each bearing equal weight we owe a debt of gratitude for all who have supported this grand venture. A particular note is Lord Dragan, whose knowledge has allowed us to so swiftly see our labor bear fruit. And House Wolfort, whose mediation has proved invaluable in forming this accord. Damn right. May their deeds be forever remembered by history. Let us raise our cups and toast to their health and happiness. Huzzah! Huzzah! Someone's gonna come in and ruin Lord it Sarah all. Lord Sarah Noah's smiling from ear to ear. Seamus' parents couldn't be here to see this. Do not get too swept away in the moment, Erador. We have a job to do here, and the day has only begun. Now that the formalities are done with, let the festivities begin. Step forward, Sir Maxwell. Is the guy in the back on the right side of the so, screen? This is the one they call is that the, the Archduke? Dawn Spear. Glenbrook's fiercest warrior. They say he has never known defeat. I would take the measure of this man. Those two will bone before the end of the game. Now that the foundations for peace have been laid, out of just mutual let respect us be of their by rigid skill. No longer. <laughs> There is a tourney to be had, after all. A much more entertaining event than my endless speech. Nothing like love between warriors. <laughs> you know? Here, 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 here. <laughs> Will any among you prove a match for our Sir Maxwell, the champion of our previous challenge? I very much look forward to finding out. Until then, help yourselves to our hospitality and our wine. 
Eat, drink, and be merry. It shall not be long until final preparations are complete. Our time is nigh, Sarah Noah. Ah, but I forget myself. Our time is nigh, Lord Wolfort. Congratulations, my friend. Aw, oh, thanks, Roland. Thank you. But living up to the title will be no easy task. You'll do your father proud, I'm sure. Unlike some of us. Ooh. Ouch. Sorry, man. Come, preparing for the tourney will take your mind off your worries. Come, preparing for the tourney will take your mind off your worries. Training? And here when your friend is troubled by doubt. Did you expect me to comfort you as your wet nurse once did? You tell him, sir, no. <laughs> your new titles made you bold. <laughs> Because you've become lord, it doesn't mean I'll sit back and take your barbs unanswered. Wouldn't want it <laughs> any other way. Now that's the Roland I know. <laughs> At least my wet nurse wasn't so smug. You two are quite the pair, aren't you? Fast friends from the day we met. And you are? Alright. Um, there's no way that those two wouldn't know each other. <laughs> considering their relative positions to one another, where she's supposed to be by his side at all times. There's no way Sarano doesn't know who she, who she is. Come on, writers, give me a break. <laughs> be better. <laughs> Apologies for not introducing you sooner. This is Huet of the Kingsguard. I call bullshit. I am tasked with keeping his highness safe, though he often seems to resent it. Tis a pleasure to meet you, Lord Wolfort. Ah, Prince Roland has told me much about you. I can see he is in good hands. I shall see that it is so, my lord. We'll let now, us slide. Now let us begin our preparations. Today we take the field. And today... Today we claim victory. But I will just say, the details are important. The reason why Final Fantasy Tactics is a freaking masterpiece of storytelling is because they focused on the details. Roland and Hewitt joined your forces. Hell yeah. Glad to have ya. Roland's aptitudes in battle. A melee warrior with range. Strikes foes two squares in front of him with a spear. His steed grants him, his, grants him exceptional mobility. Hewitt's aptitudes in battle, rains arrows down on foes from the back of a hawk. Easily traverses terrain with large elevation changes, and the higher the ground, the greater her range. Useful. Very useful. So it's a hawk, not a griffin. I'd best greet our guests. I would also, it would also give me a chance to take the measure of my soon-to-be opponents. Ah. Thalys and Erica, I wonder if those two would deign to participate in the tourney. Soon you will lead your first uh, foray into battle, and Lady Frederica and I shall experience true combat for the first time. What do you think our first fight was, Gila? Do you have a stratagem in mind for the tourney? Okay. Hmm. No, I, I don't. I don't buy into the the shame status. So, um, no tricks, offer our opponents no quarter, handled yourselves admirably when the bandits attacked, I expect your magic. You handled yourselves admirably when the bandits attacked, I expect your magic will be key to our victory. It's probably true. Our healer and our mage are going to be pretty important. Is that so, my lord? To tell the truth, I hadn't anticipated such a response, but thank you for the flattery, nonetheless. Are you kidding? You're my healer. You're, like, one of the most important parts of the team. I was being sincere. I have faith in all my allies, else we would not be fighting together. Your honesty is refreshing indeed. I am not so nervous as I was a moment before. I shall do my best to answer your very ex uh, every expectation. Lady Frederica and I shall prove ourselves worthy to fight alongside you. Franny sucks. With a wedding on the horizon, I imagine time must be precious resource for you. 
Your life is on the cusp of great change, my young lord. Still, I pray you remain a faithful friend to my brother. He has his foibles, but I care for him all the same. You're all right, Cordelia. You're joining the tourney with my brother, aren't you? Sir Maxwell has trained with him since he was little. Roland could barely stand after they sparred. But he even walks like the Dawn Spear now. I'm so proud to have him as my brother. Yeah, we like you, Cordelia. Ah, my apologies. Granny is always saying I let my emotions get the better of me. Please keep my brother safe, will you? Yeah, well, Franny's a bastard and you shouldn't listen to him. Clarice. Ah, young Lord Volfort. Thank you for the honor of including me among such esteemed company. Each face I see is more impressive than the last even members of the Saintly Seven have deigned to step foot upon our shores. Of course, I have many had many dealings with Hyzant in the past. I am taken to understand all are equal in the eyes of their goddess, and even those not of noble birth can achieve prestigious stations. I intend to use this opportunity, opportunity to avail myself of this famed equality, and perhaps win the ear of a saint in the process. A country where station is decided not by birth. I was not aware Hyzant's goddess was so equitable in her judgment. I'm sure she's super unequitable in a lot of other ways, though. Um, religion does that. I would very much like to make time to visit. You learned about the holy state of Hyzant. As the game progresses, you can uncover information that will unlock additional responses in future conversations. Oh, that's cool. Okay. I vaguely remember this from the demo. You may view the knowledge you've amassed thus far by selecting War Chronicle information from the main menu. Okay, so these options might pop up, like, really late into the game. Sleep recovery pellet, cool. Thought I saw something shining back there. Look at this guy's head. Eggman. Sorcely. I am Sorcely Ende. But I am sure you know that I have the honor of being one of the Saintly Seven. The duties of a young lordling are many, but I trust you are more than capable. May this mind bring prosperity to us all. Such a massive endeavor is bound to be fraught with danger. If you or yours ever require medical treatment, pray visit the Ministry of Medicine. We are blessed with the finest med medical minds in Orzelia, but our facilities aren't open to just anyone. Mention my name, however, and every service shall be at your disposal. Oh, cool. I've heard tell of the Ministry. It's said that even the most grievous wounds can be treated there. But if you're poor, you're shit out of luck. It's just like America. I'd very much like to see how such miracles are performed. Okay, we learned about the Ministry of Medicine. I wonder if that'll come into play later. I wonder if we can actually bring up Sorcely's name in the future. Huh. Cool. That might actually pop up later in the game. Stories of Minister X-Arm's skill have reached even the lips of my servants. I very much look forward to learning the truth of these tales. What's up, Benedict? My lord, before the journey begins, I would like to ask you a single question. To what end do you believe this contest is being held? Victory is sweet. Okay, we can remind people of House Volfort's legacy. Reputations are at stake. I'm gonna go with legacy on this one. Um, my, my cynical self likes to go here, but in times of peace, there are precious few chances to display martial prowess. I mean to remind people of House Wolford's legacy. I think that's a good option. We don't always need to be cynical. <laughs> Very good, my lord. Although the weapons will be blunted, there will be victors and vanquished all the same. The attendees will be curious to see a new lord's talent. Does he possess the ferocity of his forebears? The answer to that question shall be determined soon and shall bring, uh, shall ring far into the future. That font can be a little bit difficult to read at times. It's not the worst font I've seen in a game, though. It does look nice. Okay, here's X-Arm. Um, another talent, so... Uh, another talented fighter. You are the new lord of House of Wolford, yes? I have seen you from afar, but I believe this is the first time I've had the pleasure of speaking with you. Even now, the common folk seeing of your house's bravery during the Salt Iron War. So we fought in the Salt Iron War? We're actually old enough to have fought in the war? See, I thought we were of a similar age as, um, um, 
as uh, Dragan, and he said that he was too young to be in the war. However, I suspect it shan't be long before they sing of House Marshall's deeds instead. I look forward to seeing you at the tourney, Lord Serenella. I'm curious, is there... Let's bring up our menu again. I move over to the name, and like, I'm wondering if there's like a uh, overview of characters and their history. But I can't seem to go to the left to the name. Not seeing anything here. Details. No, I don't. I don't think we've got that right now. This screen will allow you to view a summary of the story so far. Ooh, it looks like that will also give us um, a map of when we have breaking choices in the story. And I wonder if, like in some other games like this, if there will be an option to look at this map and jump back to a choice once we finish one of the others. I guess we'll have to see. That would be nice. I prefer it that way than making you actually just replay the game again or rely on saves that can easily and accidentally be overwritten and hard to keep track of where each choice lands, you know what I mean? But I guess we'll see. Lila, congratulations on your recent appointment as Lord. I am sure the entire realm will celebrate the occasion. Lord Simon, has ever been a, f a dear friend to us. Pray do not hesitate to come to us in times of need. Where are these two from? Are they Hyzant or are they Esfrosty or other? Is it true that General of Laura will be taking the field in the tourney? The right hand of the Archduke, rivaled only by her lord and ferocity. I doubt she judges a friendly competition to be worthy of her abilities. Still, if she lives up to her reputation, then she wouldn't have to try hard to prove a match for even the mightiest warrior. You carry your father's legacy on your shoulders, young lord. Eager am I to see how it fits you. Maxwell, when are you going to join our party, huh? Hmm? Hmm? I've trained the prince since he was scarcely old enough to hold a spear. I have a great interest in seeing his performance at the tourney. I would wish you good luck, but I would rather your skill carry you to victory. Silvio. I vaguely remember that name from a side story. I think he's from Glenbrook, and I think he... I can't remember. He might have been the, the guy who tried to remain neutral. Or he might have been the guy that we had to go and help. I can't remember. Lord Serenoa, congratulations on your recent appointment. The news of Lord Simon's abdication was sudden, to be sure, but all lords must give up their position in time. Still, I am certain having that immense responsibility thrust upon you at such a young age must be trying indeed. If you ever require counsel or simply a sympathetic ear to bend, do not hesitate to call upon House Telior. Whoa, why have it, why has it been? Our convictions changed there. The soldiers here are obedient. I'll give them that. I can't say the same for S. Frost's military. For better or worse in S. Frost, we value freedom over all else. Those with the drive to succeed naturally rise to the top. The Stout Hawk Shield. Okay. Though your kingdom's lords and ladies might view us as rabble of ambitious upstarts, we aren't beholden by tradition in Esfrost. If you've ever any interest in seeing what true freedom looks like, you're welcome at any time. A country where one is judged by ability and not birth. It certainly has produced some formidable personages. Okay. So they're a meritocracy. I shall have to visit whenever time allows. So we've got our theocracy, we've got our meritocracy, and then we've got our um, traditional, like, um, why can't I think of the name? Or it's just a king. <laughs> You're from House Volfort, yes? Your reputation is formidable, to be sure, but Esfrost's military is second to none. Day and night we train, and I dare say even our rank and file would be a match for any other army's elite troops. Dude, this, like, random soldier is just having a pissing contest with the Lord. All right, cool. I like it. <laughs> Why, just the other day, we managed to capture a particularly dangerous smuggler. 
He was swift as a horse and as deadly with a bow as many alive. I even broke a bone in the process. Ooh, that's a loaded gun. We're gonna meet this. Uh, we're gonna meet this smuggler eventually. Guaranteed. His skill would have doubtless made him a capable soldier. It's a wonder what disparate paths our choices send us down. We're definitely meeting that captured smuggler. Ah, Sarah Noah Volfort. How good to see you again so soon. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Thallus S. Frost at your service. I suppose soon I shall be calling you my brother-in-law. This is quite the castle you have, full of history and great deeds. I hope that one day fate sees it fit to deliver me on, to deliver me one so grand. Ah, okay, Thallus. Maybe you're going to take this one by force? And Erica. I suppose we haven't formally met. I'm Erica S. Frost. Yes, Frederica is my sister, although I hardly think of her as such. Yeah, you've made such clear. An interesting way for you to speak to, you know, her soon-to-be betrothed, you despicable human being. This country is... old, for lack of a better word. I'm certain it will fit her sensibilities perfectly. Before this game ends, I will have murdered both of you. And if I can manage it, I'm gonna let Frederica burn you alive herself. Ah, here's the, uh, the, the warrior lady. Huh, a predictable match with a predictable outcome. Evlora, let's remember that name. What does she mean by that? Does she expect to win? I think she expects to win against, uh, the Dawnspear. Oh, um, hi, Bewitching Dancer. I understand your medal shall be on display at the tourney, my lord. May it leave an impression on all in attendance. Can we see that animation from the front? Alright, cool. I wonder if uh, there's a dancing class in this game. Does it work like uh, Fire Emblem? Okay, I also need to be like keeping an eye out for shiny pickups. You know I want my loot. Okay, big old tree. Anybody hiding over here? Oh, did I see one here? I did. Give me that money. Sometimes those are difficult to see. With you by my side, friend, I feel we could take on the entire realm. I dare say we may even give the Dawn Spear his first taste of defeat. Hey, I'll do my best. It is an honor to be allowed to fight by House of Wolfort's side. I shall do my utmost to bring honor to you on the battlefield. Also, now that they're part of the team... Gosh, I love this 2D art. She looks like a badass. So does Anna. They're all badasses. Yeah, I love I love the 2D art style in this game, man. It's very strong. Poxbane increases damage inflicted to you by arrows. Wait, what? Why would? Okay, so that's just basically telling us that we're weak to arrows. Like, okay. I was like, shouldn't abilities benefit us? But I guess it's just like telling us one of our weaknesses. So yeah, we, we need to avoid arrows with her. Okay. Deal physical damage to an enemy and have a chance to blind them for three turns. Oh yeah, I remember that. That was pretty useful. Fell swoop. And increases damage inflicted to you by spears. Okay, so you're weak to spears. So that's probably going to be a common thing for people on horseback. Horseback, weak to spears. Flyers, weak to bows. Deal physical damage to a single enemy. We saw that one. Rush, I think, is a charge forward attack. Let's you clear distance and hit people. I wonder if it had movement, too, if it pushes the enemy back or something. We'll have to wait and see. Can't use it yet. Okay, have there been any shinies that we've missed on this side?
Part of me wishes it was a free camera instead of uh, 45s. But I'm guessing the game just looks better at the 45s. Like, they probably just designed all the areas with 45s in mind, so I'll give that to them. That's just a butterfly, not a pickup. Okay. Let us hope this tourney brings the same thrills as last year's. I won't soon forget the final bout between Lord Simon and the Dawn Spear. Aye, it was a match for the histories. Tis a shame Lord S Simon uh, won't be here to have another go at it. I struggle saying his name because I know it's supposed to be Simon, but I want to say Simon. <laughs> his son is representing House Volport this year, I hear. I don't reckon one so green can stand against the likes of the Dawn Spear. But I've seen stranger things. Landroy. Lord Saranoa, I understand the Volfort name is now in your hands. Allow me to reintroduce myself as your peer. I am Landroy Fox, lord of one of Glenbrook's three high houses. This tourney will be your first and best chance to show the skill of Volfort's new generation. You have my support. May you find success deserving of a high house. Minister's aid, today I fight by Sir Maxwell's side in the tourney. I could not envision a great honor, th a greater honor than this. A minister's aide is gonna be in the fight? Interesting, okay. He does not seem like a fighter. May we cross swords, L Lord Saranoa, and may we fight. Uh, may the fight be one to remember. You must be Lord Wolfort. I am Patriot, Patriarch of, I missed it, um, Log. House Consar. By King Regna's grace, we were chosen above all others to attend this momentous ceremony. Tis an honor, truly. All we have we owe to our king. Let us continue to serve him as well we can. Whoops, I did not even mean to do that. <laughs> your first tourney is lord of your house, eh? I knew the day would come, but it still brings tears to my eyes to see it. Always remember that Benedict and I are at your back, my lord. Come to us for whatever you need. That includes the turn. You need someone in the dirt, my lord. I'm your man. Let's show him what stuff House Wolford is made of. And she's like, I will murder your enemies in the darkness. Lord Saranoa, Benedict has been looking for you, but it seems you've already spoken. <laughs> a lady a few words. Interesting. The outside of this is the map. <laughs> I've never seen a woman or a man, for that matter, quite like Minister Lila. Beautiful, elegant, and brilliant. What I wouldn't give to serve under someone like her. Serve under. I, <laughs> I see you, Glenbrook soldier. I see you. I see you. Word has it her new assistant is a strapping young researcher, said to be well-versed in ice magic. Ah, I knew I should have spent more time at my books instead of in the training yard. I'd very much like to see the skill of Minister Lila's new assistant for myself. Perhaps I will, and sooner rather than later. Okay, the Ice Mage. I hear the Bloody Shield himself will be fighting on behalf of Esfrost during this year's tourney. He's the captain of the Duchy's elite hawk riders and a fierce hawk shield himself. I look forward to seeing the man in action. Okay, that was the guy over here that we talked to. This guy? Yeah, Stout Hawk Shield. Oh, I wonder if I should be talking to people again after learning things. I passed a group of soldiers back, uh, clad in black armor on the way here. Are those Esfrost's storied black irons? I mean to question any Esfrosty I can about the archives. It is said that within the archives countless tomes lay the answer to any and all questions that have ever been asked. You only need to ask them out. A house of boundless knowledge. That's certainly something I'd like to see with my own eyes. Okay, we learned about the archives. So if I talk to you again... Okay, I'm gonna guess no on that. But they'll probably crop up later. Okay, so we've talked to everybody here in the gardens. So um, I think we're done with this exploration, but we need to end this episode. So uh, yeah, 
Uh, thank you all for being here. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next episode where I'm assuming we will be getting to the turning. Have a good one, everybody. I'd like to give a very special shout out to my patron supporters, Darren York, ZTD, Seventh Son, Louis D, Ivan K, Len, and Jordan and Emily Hill. If you would also like to join this tier or any others, check out my memberships or my Patreon in the description down below.